All right, today we're going to do the disc mover challenge, and I haven't really changed this one too much. Uh, so let's see, what do I want you guys to do? Don't worry about these competition goals. We're just going to insert a table right here. Uh -huh. uh, post a picture of level one robot, and we're going to do that for all of them. So we're going to post a picture for the level two robot and the level three robot. Uh, no code for this one. So let's look at what it wants us to do. I'm just going to grab all of these, make a note in Vex VR, <gasps> pop it over here, say something. I'm going to say this. Whoa. Okay, so. This is the disk mover challenge, which I think we're just going to use the disk mover map. So if I look at playgrounds, I got disk mover over here. And looking at it, the first challenge is asking me. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Pick up and place three disks of any color into any color goals. So this one's the easiest. Uh, basically, all I have to do for this is I have to drive forward, have to boost my magnet, and then I have to, I'm, just not, I'm not even turning around, I'm driving in reverse, and I'm going to drop my thing, and I just got to figure out how far, so I'm going to go with this one first, so this one's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, I'm going to go forward 1600, and I'm going to go forward 1600, and I am going to Set my velocity to be 100, and I'm going to go. And that should get the first one. And let's see. Oh, dear. Something terrible has happened. Uh, first, I did not tell it to reverse. So let's see how this goes now. Going forward. Boom. Boosted it. Drops it off. And then basically, I can just copy this code and change my variable to 1614, 1200, and then 1200, and then I can duplicate this one and make it 800, I think. 800, 800, good. And it's going, doop, one, two, and three. All right, so that's cool. And then using the electromagnet, place one disc of each color inside the matching gold colors. Um, okay. Okay, so for this one, wants to take one disc from each of these goals and put it in the matching color. So I've got enough to go up. I'm just going to have to add a bit of interesting code here. So for the second level, I can do this. I'm actually going to build this like as a block over here. Uh, turn 90, drive forward. So I'm going to drive forward one, two, three, four. So that's 800 and then turn 90 left. I'm going to drop this in twice. So here's once I'm going to duplicate it because I'm going to drop it in again. So once, move this up, pull this one out, drop this in, and just like that, I should be able to go pick them up. Now, I left the values the same because I'm lazy. If I was doing this as quickly as I could, I probably would have changed it so they were all 800. Um, 800 return. We go up, boop, grab the second one. It does not really matter which ones you grab. Uh, this one should grab the first one from green. Okay, so that's level two. And then level three, using the Elijah's for Magnet, pick up one disc of each color inside each color goal. So, um, right, I can probably do this. Well, 
I can go on from here, but this gets more complicated. So like now I got to get the green and bring it here, get the green and bring it here. Um, so this is just going to be a really long program. Like I can go just basically build right off of this, duplicate this. I'm going to go home forward. Let's go get the, the last one, 1600, 1600. And then we're going to turn, we're going to turn left and we're going to drive forward 1600. Um, and then we're going to drop it and then we're going to go drive reverse for 1600 and that should take us back here and then we're going to turn right 90 degrees and so on so like if I run this what I just added to this is going to have us go here bring this back over here after this so we can get this one and we're going to get this one back up and we have the furthest one. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make a left. I'm going to go all the way over here, drop it off. And I'm going to turn. I'm going to go back up. And then I'd write the one to drop this off here. I'd go get this one and maybe go over here, get this one, go here, and then go get these two and drop them off accordingly. So, I mean, in terms of complicated, you can do it this way. There are other ways you could get this all done. Um, but this one I'm giving you, so this would be the third level. So that's everything you need to know about the disc mover challenge. Uh, good luck. Remember, at the end, I just want the pictures of these. So maybe at the end, every time you move the robot out of the box, so I can see what you have in the respective boxes. Uh, but otherwise, good luck and hope this helped.